Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Space Wolves and the new DLC. We're checking out the new features, the cool Space Wolves with their bonus to melee and and their uh, I got lots of lightning claws we got going on there and you know really excited to be using these guys. Some people call them the Space Vikings. That person and those people should all be killed. Put on a spaceship with gene stealers and slice to bits, because I can't stand that shit. Anyways, this is the first. Yes, my lord. Something of woe, or foe of woe, or friend of woe, or fiend of woe, or the, the hated fiend. I don't know. Um, it's the, the new DLC, Fangs of Fenris, and this is the first level. Probably the best best level of that and the objective is to um, there's four points um, both north and then two north two south um, in which you have to close the bulkhead doors so you have to push your terminators down a very narrow corridors well of course all the corridors are narrow but the corridors are uh, you know, there's not a lot of space between when you're going to be turning a corner and gene stealers are going to be flying around them. It's you don't get the advantage of having a lot of long corridors to fire down, go on Overwatch, that sort of thing. You're getting up close and personal, and certainly the melee bonus, the plus one melee bonus for the space wolves come in handy. And you can see here that I'm executing the strategy of splitting up my two squads, and I'm going to have uh, these two, you know, one squad head north, one squad head south, and that guy's going on overwatch because he's going to cover their backs, and uh, you can see here I have the lightning claw, uh, he's leading that pack with the flamethrower behind him, and this lightning claw is leading the pack as well. The reason I have the lightning claws leading the pack uh, is now that these are space wolf lightning claws, and now Blood Angel and Lightning Claws, uh, they're actually quite effective. Um, that little extra plus one Prepare makes yourself, a big brothers. difference. I would say they're, well, I they are, statistically speaking, stronger in melee, even on guard mode, Thunder Hammer Sergeant. Uh, it's two dice plus two, they can control on guard mode. Cleanse the monstrosity. So what that means on guard mode is they have about an 83% chance of killing a gene stealer. No. A lot. However, you see right there that despite what the odds are, they don't always work out in your favor. And I got lucky there that that flamethrower was able to kill that gene stealer and me. Had he gone down, it was all going to be over. And fortunately, there's there's a bit of redundancy built into my system. Uh, you know, you're going down these tubes, these tunnels, and you have some people. You have a backup, and in this case, it's the flamethrower. Um, unfortunately, he's not in a great position, so he's going to waste a lot of time to get to where he needs to go instead of having him leading the pack. I, I was hoping that the lightning claw would survive longer, but you don't always get what you want, and that's why you plan for redundancy. That's why you make backup plans. It's it, there's a certain amount of random number generation to this game and so you have to take that into account in your strategy sometimes it works in your favor and sometimes it doesn't speaking of which they have to play the rather Hard dangerous number generator game here and you might go Moving. You know, you're crazy what are you doing here Weapons you ready. just had your your other lightning claw died and he was in guard mode so why he going melee um, you know really it's 72% chance non guard mode, uh, about an 83% chance guard mode. It's not a big difference, but it's a you know it's a difference you can appreciate if you can use it. Uh, certainly, you only lose once and then you're dead. But you know, really looking at all the command points, I just I sort of blew here. I probably should have killed that Repair gene stealer yourself, and brothers. pushed a little further up because really, Repair. all that guy's job is that lightning claw on the south side is. He's got to gain ground. He's just looking to gain squares, get to the bulkhead door, and that's it. And, you know, by putting him where I put him, you shall be cleansed. It's good that he killed him, but 
Yeah, these new spawners are creating a problem. Let them fall. I got lucky there because there's only one gene stealer. But had there been two or three, there's a lot in my path. Though I did want to keep some of those guard mode points in order to help my my space marine who's on overwatch. Uh, luckily he didn't he didn't bother to do anything useful with those. Uh, he just missed his shot. Uh, and so that's the way it goes. I can pretty much guarantee you that his uselessness is going to come back to haunt me. That's typically the way uh, these things work. He can't be leaving points on the board. Uh, or what would they say in football? Some stupid analogy. I don't know. If shit doesn't work out for you, it tends to haunt you. Now right here, my heavy flamer is in a situation where I have to burn all my command points. I'm lucky to have three. Uh, otherwise, he would just be able to create a barrier with his flame that wouldn't kill this blip. And, you know, he's got limited ammo. Um, the Gene Stealers are coming. He needs to push forward. So I, I, I think I wisely burned all my command points there. But it's going to leave me a problem here. Because now this, you know, again, very useless individual who's there to protect the, the rear of my north attack squad... He doesn't do anything. Uh, but luckily, you know, again, redundancy is built into the system. Uh, the sergeant is there. He, he's not in position to really go on Overwatch. The Gene Sealer is going to try and get into melee with him. So he, uh, rather than having him take one shot, I'd rather have him in guard mode. And, you know, everyone else moves down. They're allotted a mount. Uh, you can only go two because... Again, he's going to need to go into guard mode, uh, the lightning claw at the bottom, to give him that extra bonus in melee. I think that's probably safer than just pushing too forward, just to get the extra I ground. Um, and, you know, there you finally figure out what I'm doing with the Thunder Hammer. He's going to be, he's gonna be there to protect that side channel since it doesn't have a lot, a lot of ground to be firing a balter from. And then the other balter... Uh, Marine has moved up just in case things go things go real bad with the uh, gene stealers running down the tubes. There, there we go. He's he's got a kill. Oh, what's that? Uh, looks like a jam. And you know, luckily the guard mode paid off there. And that's all they can do. So we're in good position. We're gonna get some attacks on both the Thunder Hammer next hand turn and we sh should be uh, getting some attacks on the Lightning Claw soon. My immediate focus is on this little crisis I have here going on in the, in the side channel. Got to see how that pans out before figuring out what I'm doing with my other dudes. You know, you got to have a kind of kind of a plan as their turn is developing for how you're going to handle your turn when you're on hard mode because you only got two minutes and with ten terminators that's not a lot of time luckily I'm able to kill two of the gene stealers that puts me in a better position I can have two terminators go on guard mode though that individual who's on the southern side of those two is not going to get a lot a lot of opportunity shots but the other one will um, but you know he'll probably fuck it up that's what I've been able to gather from his track record so far. Well, I guess you, you can't you can't base past performance or you can't base future performance off past performance. That's not how this game works, but he so far he's disappointed me. And the rest of these dudes, you know, they're running a train down south, pushing the ground, getting as far as they can. And this flamethrower, he's pretty much going solo. And, you know, I'm going to bring up the sergeant to support him, but I kind of want to figure out where I need to position him to get the most, uh, to make the most ground. Because, again, this is, at this point, especially with the four doors open, it's all about covering ground. It's all about getting those doors shut and getting in a better position. And, you know, the flamethrower, he's got limited ammo. So, and the lightning claws, they will only survive so long in melee. So, you know, that's the focus, getting the ground and getting it soon, getting it as quickly as possible without taking too many unnecessary risks. 
what I'll decide to do with this flamethrower is move him in the center square and, and fire a spurt of flame at their spawn. Uh, that blip that's a little to the left and down is not going to be able to reach me because they have to open two doors. And they'll be right next to the flamethrower, but not there to kill him. And he'll be in a good position. Uh, hopefully he'll be in a good position next turn um, to deal with that. And now we just have to hope that my melee guys hold out. The Mark thunder hammer in melee, he's got, uh, I think it's around a 77% chance on guard mode to kill the gene stealer. Again, there's issues with uh, conditional probability. I haven't, I haven't bothered to work out. Don't know how to work out, but you know, he's got a good chance to survive. Let's just put it that way. It's not guaranteed, but he should be able to go through a number of them before they, they take him down. But again, you always get unlucky. Uh, you saw from the lightning claw, that it was the second gene stealer, which killed him. If that happens here, I'm certainly in a, a pretty big problem. Um, it's a big train of terminators, four terminators, but they're just not in a good position where the gene stealers are to to get to that bulkhead door. So I'm hoping that lightning claw, he, he kills these gene stealers, he pushes, gains some ground. Um, but they're not giving him a lot of space where they are, so he's probably going to have to go on the offensive, which is definitely more riskier. And uh, the Gene Steelers are getting in position to, you know, cause some trouble next turn. Here what we have is a failure to count. And I'll move my sergeant into position, but... What I got going on with this flamethrower is I would like to be able to flame those gene stealers to my left and then run up and close the door. And that's why I reroll my command points, even though they're at two, and I get lucky and I get a three. Though, you know, it was a bad decision, it worked out for me. Uh, but, you know, then I figure out, because of my failure to count, that I don't have enough. Even with three, I don't have enough command points to run down and close the door. So I have to flame it to keep him alive, and now, you know, he's wasted five, well not wasted, but you know, he's used up all his ammo uh, getting to that first bulkhead door, but at least I know next turn he'll get it, and it did unfortunately burn one more command point than I needed to, but again, that's because of the failure to count. This dude finally kills that gene stealer, good for him doing something and uh, I feel like I'll bring up this terminator here with the power axe because that the north side it suffered some attrition the flamethrower is about to become useless after he loses his ammo and unfortunately I'm not very happy with this situation because this lightning claw only gets to move one square uh, he doesn't have the command points to kill the gene sealer and take the turn and get into guard mode um, so there's no point in taking the risk, just go into guard mode and, you know, attempt to kill whatever comes at me. And everyone else will just keep moving down the tunnel. And then when it is, I yeah, make sure everything's okay, I didn't miss anything, I got some time. And we'll end the turn and really it's just making sure that uh, the random number generators work in my favor for my melee dudes. None shall survive. Let them fall before us. Let them fall before us.